horses and their riders are recognized as road users by the Ministry of Transportation in BC and drivers are once again being told to share the road. Any rider in BC um, can approach their nearest ministry office or district office and ask for new signage or um, an enhancement of the existing signage. And it's important for people that are coming to live in a rural area to understand that the intersection of the urban and the rural is a place where you need to be cautious and learn about your environment, which is going to include slow moving farm vehicles. It's going to include horses. Let's try to get it right. <laughs> The average horse weighs about a thousand pounds. Now imagine that coming towards you. A lot of riders, they just, a lot of drivers rather, they just don't seem to understand horses. Horses, they could be good and then something will spook them and suddenly they can be out in the middle of the road when it looked like they were just going along. A lot of times I think is they don't know that horses are unpredictable and they can hurt your car just as much as they can hurt the person who's riding. So one hand on the reins, mm -hmm. whichever way you take your hand, if you take your hand to the right, he will go to the right. If you take your hand to the left, he will go to the left. So here we are on a typical Langley road. It's about 20, 20 feet across. Not a lot of room, you could say, for a car to go by. We've got three, and they go single file? And they've made a single file, so it's a full yield. And I'm creeping by, and then when I see them in my rear view, I accelerate away normally. What can you tell me about the equine industry here in British Columbia? It's huge, for one thing. Um, a great deal larger than most average people realize. In fact, Horse Council is just, as we speak, undertaking an industry study to discover the current economic impact of uh, equestrianism in BC. There's approximately 100,000 horses in the BC herd. Ever since Thunderbird was built, which is 15 years ago at its new facility, barns are moving from what was Southlands, where everyone used to be located, down out to the valley. Property's a little cheaper, you can get a bigger place, you can house more horses, and so everybody is centered around this area. It's incredible. Get him a little awake now, give him a little spur now. And now just keep your rhythm. So when we talk about equine industry, well, I mean, people think about, okay, so sporting events, uh, they thought, think about barn stables. Um, what else are we not thinking about? There's veterinarians. Yeah, exactly. It includes all that. It includes farriers, there's vets, there's animal hospitals. A lot of the people in British Columbia and in Langley are recreational riders, so they're not always into sport, but they enjoy watching sport. So even though the horses may have been in sport pastime, the horses still have a life after their sport, which then goes to recreation. Recent reports indicate that there's over 7,000 horses located here in the township of Langley. Dean Atwell and Freckles for Fraser Focus.